YouTube, what up? So today I wanna to show you my minimal everyday carry for photography. Now you guys know these videos, they're complicated to make. Photo shoots are complicated to operate. You got a lot of equipment, so many different variables. And the longer I do this, the more I strive to have a setup that I can take with me on an off day that has no bags, I can keep everything on me, but still get the job done potentially if inspiration strikes. And this is that setup. So the first thing I carry with me is the AirPods. I've talked about it before. These things are incredible. One of the best inventions in the last couple years, in my opinion. If you're someone who's always on the go like me, you just throw these things in. No wires, no cords. They recharge super fast and pretty much hard to beat. The next thing is the Spyderco Dog Tag 4th Generation. Now, I believe everyone should have a pocket knife with them. Nothing crazy. This one is less than one inch. It cuts everything you need it to cut, gets the job done, and in a super convenient, cool-looking package. Now, the watch that I've been wearing as of late is the Zin U1. This is a German-made automatic watch. It's self-winding, no batteries, no recharging, and in the photo and video world, you are constantly charging batteries. So it's nice to have one piece of equipment that is completely self-sustaining and doesn't require batteries. Now, I got this watch because of how tough it is. It's made of a tegmented submarine steel. It's extremely difficult to scratch, and for someone like me who is tough on their equipment, it's pretty much a no-brainer choice. Now the camera I use in this carry is the Fuji X Pro 2. Nice thin rangefinder style camera, but the image quality is very good. You can get a nice picture with this camera. Love the hybrid viewfinder element of the Fuji cameras as well. And when you pair this up with the 35 f2 lens, you get a very small, convenient package that can get you a great photo. My dream setup would be the Leica Q. Eh, who knows? Maybe we'll get there one day. But for now, the X Pro 2 with the 35 f2 gets the job done for pretty much everything. When I go out like this, I only like to bring one camera body and one lens. So I may bring the 1614 if I want a wider lens but it's only one body, one lens. And typically, I don't like to use a wrist strap on these days, but if I do, I'm gonna use this dispatch paracord strap in the camo. It's got that nice metal clip, this nice buckle right here to attach it. Super solid strap, I've been using it for years. Now, if I'm out and I do wanna do some video, get some inspiration for something I wanna record, I bring the Hero 5 Session with me. Nice, small, can throw it in my pocket. It takes up no space at all. As you can see, this GoPro is cracked. I told you guys I was tough on my equipment, but it doesn't affect the video. So next up, we got the Field Notes book with the Evan Ramp sticker on the back. Everyone carries one of these. It's great to have a notebook with you. I write down any idea that I have, especially as a YouTuber. Inspiration can strike at any time and you wanna make sure you don't forget those ideas. I, however, don't buy the name brand Field Notes. I buy the Amazon off-brand. Same thing, just a lot cheaper. Now this last thing is very extra. It's actually not minimal at all, but it's too cool to not show you. It's the TI2 Designs Carabiner. Now I don't use this all the time. I typically don't use it, but if I'm doing something where I don't wanna lose my keys, like I'm going hiking or I'm going through the airport and I just wanna make sure I have some bulk to my keys, I throw them on here. It's cool. It's got a bottle opener and like a little mini edge on the top. But that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That is my minimal carry. If you did, hit that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. See you guys next time.